Reflection is the bouncing of light off a surface. Just like if you throw a ball at the wall, the ball will bounce off the wall. So when light hits the surface, it will bounce off the surface. Now, what follows is a diagram that you must be able to draw on your own and which you must remember. Now, you see I draw a straight line with an arrow going towards a surface. This, as you know, is a ray of light. And if you look at the arrow, the ray of light is going towards the surface. So this ray of light, we call it an incident ray. When the light hits the surface, we can draw an imaginary line that is perpendicular to the surface. This line, we call it a normal. Between the incident ray and the normal, we can see there is an angle. We call this angle I. This angle I is called the angle of incidence. The ray, when it hits the surface, will bounce off. This ray that bounces off the surface is called the reflected ray. Similarly, there is an angle between the normal and the reflected ray. We use R to label this angle, and this angle R is called the angle of reflection. You need to know how to label the rays, the angles, and you must remember that the normal is an imaginary line that is perpendicular to the surface. Any angle we talk about in this topic will be between the normal and the instant ray or the normal and the reflected ray. We do not talk about any angle between a ray and the surface. There is a law of reflection that you must know. This is one of the two laws. The angle of incidence is always the same as the angle of reflection. If you want to remember it in an easier way, you can remember just this. Angle I equals angle R. There is a second law of reflection that is not often tested, but which you should still know. This second law says that the instant ray The normal, the reflected ray, all of this, they lie on the same plane. What is a plane? A plane is just a flat horizontal surface. Here, the plane can be imaginary or it can be real.